Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacob Restituto. I'm a musician from Northport, New York, and welcome back to another reaction video. This is where I react to break down and analyze all the production, lyrics, style, all the different things about your favorite songs. Being a musician myself, I have a whole bunch of music out there so I can relate to and enjoy a lot of other music on a different level than most people typically can, so I want to help you guys enjoy that the same way. If you want to check out my music, speaking of it, it means a ton to me. It's Jacob Restituto, wherever you listen, at Music, Spotify, Pandora, all the different things. You just type in Jacob R-E-S and Jacob Restituto will come up. If you want to check it out, like I said, I have a whole bunch of music out there and mean a ton to me. You can also text me saying what's up or with requests, or you can comment below, but if you want to text me, it's one 833 575-0948, and that's US or WhatsApp. Um, in the US, you can use regular text message or outside of the US, use WhatsApp. But let's see what we got. This is Why Don't We Twist and Shout cover, Beatles cover. Cool, be I actually, side note, this this Beatles song, Twist and Shout, I, I think, I think, I'm not entirely sure about the full validity of this statement, but I think it's actually the Beatles covering another person's song. Regardless, I do know this. I definitely know that this was a one-shot take in the Beatles recording in the studio. They were not planning on recording this song. They ended up being like, you know what? We're, we're retired. We're, we're let's just do one more. We can do one more. And that's why the vocals on it are so raspy. He had been singing all day. It's a one-take shot thing, which is insane. You'll know what song it is. Come on. If you don't, if you don't know what song this is, oh, I don't know you song suck. Hey. We'll sing it on baby now. Shake it on baby. Oh, sweet harmonies, man. Nice. Twist and shout. Twist and shout. Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby. Now. Come on, baby. Come on and work it all out. Dude, his voice totally sounds like it could fit the Beatles music, man. I want to comment, though, how, how hard it is that the rhythm of the vocals versus the rhythm of the strumming, like, it's very syncopated. Actually, it's it's hard to match, so shout out to him for doing it. You know you look so good. You look so good. Super dry vocals, not a ton of reverb going on. Actually, I don't even know if there's any reverb going on at all. Nice vocal riff. Alright, shout out. Let's, I have a question for you. Most of them using the same type of microphone. I've, I've talked about the, that style microphone in a dozen of my videos. For anybody that's seen it, I'm curious, comment below if you know what microphone that is from watching my videos. I've mentioned it in like a bunch of videos, I'm curious. One of the most popular microphones used in the world. Oh nice, you hear that funky note right there? Good for them, but this is the key. Let me. I'm gonna show you the funky note and then I'm gonna explain something in a sec. Okay, so you hear, did you hear that funky note? That it was one fret too high. The key. This is the importance. Of, this is what makes a professional musician from from a, a beginner musician. The key is t t a professional musician just keeps playing and doesn't even acknowledge the mistake. Maybe they'll they'll chuckle a little or something like that. Uh, uh, amateur musician. Sorry, I totally lost my train of thought. I saw the thumbnail on the side. I totally. An amateur musician will uh, will. Will I? Wow! I totally got this right. An amateur musician will, will acknowledge a mistake. Sometimes the worst thing you could do ever is stop and say, "Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake." Makes the crowd super uncomfortable. But another thing that they'll do is they'll like either pause for a sec or that's super amateur. Even like relative amateur is at the end of the performance they'll be like, "Oh, sorry about that mistake I had." Like, don't even acknowledge it. Complete. The thing is, like, I bet that most listeners, most of you guys, didn't even notice that mistake until I said something. Uh, if we did, shout out to you, good job. But most people don't even notice. So that's the key with, with a lot of music but that makes it be, be the beginner versus an uh, a, a professional. Like, don't acknowledge a mistake, just keep going. And, and the most important thing is to keep timing. If you keep the timing right, you could he could have literally walked down six frets but kept the timing right, It would have people would have just thought it was stylistic. They would have had no idea. So that's the key. Keep the confidence and keep the timing and nobody will know at all. Know that you're mine. Know you're mine. I like that the ooh in there. That, they did a really good job with this cover. Shake it on baby now. Shake it on baby. Twist and shout. Twist and shout. Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby now. Come on, baby. Come on and work it all out. Work it all out. You know you twist, little girl. Twist, little girl. You know you twist. 
har their voice their voices really layer really well together. So fine, just so fine. Come on, twist a little closer now. Just a little closer. And let me know that you're mine. You know you're mine. Oh, shake it, shake it, shake it, baby, now. Shake it on, baby. Oh, shake it, shake it, shake it, baby, now. Shake it on. One thing I wish that they kind of did that they didn't do, like, I, I noticed that Little Mix also a lot, is they pan their vocals slightly. So, like, the guy on the right would have his vocals slightly pan, pan to the right in the ear and uh, going across like that for the rest of them. I think that would be a cool thing to, because I'm, I'm not able to really distinguish their voices yet. So it'd be nice to kind of have a general spatial view of who's singing what. Nice harmony right there. Very cool, nice. <laughs>